Okay, guys. So before you is a Google screen, nothing in there. Um, let me just tell you that um, you could use any browser to, to access the platform, but it's advisable um, to use um, Edge or Google Chrome. We prefer Google Chrome because you have a Google account as your SALCC account. And so you could always sign into that account. So you do not need to always be signing into the e-learning platform every time you access it. Okay. So I'm going to be signing in as a new user um, on the platform. And of course, we're going to just spend a little time navigating the platform. So the SALCC e-learning platform is, is found using this URL elearn.salcc.edu.lc. Okay, so let me just maximize that a bit. No, you won't see it now, but um, there we have it. And so it opens up the platform. Okay, as much as possible, we try to make the platform user-friendly. Okay, very usable so that um, you don't have much issues trying to figure out where things are. Certain things you have to be mindful of. This is your menu. So when you click here, you have your menu. Obviously, nothing shows up here right now because I have not logged in. So I cannot get past this if I haven't logged in. Okay. Um, this, of course, is what we call our accessibility tools. So this is in place for people who may be dyslexic, who may have problems seeing the screen. So if I click on it, I can actually um, make the text bigger on the screen, as you notice. Okay or I can increase the text spacing on the screen. So you notice here, I can increase the text spacing to make it easier to read. Now, a lot of people ask us, okay, why do you have this there? This is annoying and stuff like that. But the truth is um, standards right now for e-learning require that we include everybody. And there may be people who have difficulty reading off the screen who may be dyslexic or may have visual impairments. And so, this tool actually takes care of that. If it's annoying you, all you have to do is, is hover over it and click hide and it will send it, you know, all the way up here to the corner. Okay, so next to this is the login option. So this is where you, you, you begin your experience by clicking log in. Okay, now your login window actually will show you two areas that you could log in. One of them you are never to use. This is this area right here, okay? You are never to use this area. Um, and I shall, let me try and annotate this so you, so you see what I'm talking about. You are never to use this area right here. This is strictly for site admins, strictly for site admins. So we're asking you to please stay away from, from this area, okay? The area you use, is this area right here, which is of course your Google Apps option um, login. Every student has an, an email account, an SALCC email account. And this is what we refer to as your Google Apps account. Okay, so let us log in. To log in, and guys, if there are any questions, um, you, you will let me know. Um, the other members of the team. So I see Dexter. Dexter has a question. Yes, Dexter, go ahead. Um, I do not have an email actually. Okay. Uh, so email. How so, come you don't have an email yet, Dexter? That's strange. Yeah, I I, I was back and forth with an email, um with mm. I think it was Jenny. It was mm. Jenny. I can't remember the last name. Mm. Um. Yeah, and I haven't I haven't got through the email yet. But I got through my I'm not fully registration yet, but it's okay. But you but, did receive that email, this email to join the session, right? Yes, I, I received this okay. one. That means you have an email, it's it, so it, it must be they just didn't send it to you. So let me okay. see, Dexter Phillips, let me just take that down, right? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can send you an email, okay? But yeah. you have an email, all right? Thank you for that, Dexter. Um, okay, um. If you, if you want, you could just um, type your question in the Q&A and we will, um, we have enough people on the team who will respond to it, okay? So just use the Q&A, all right? So 
of the team members will we will respond to those questions in the q and I see we have a, a few there, but if you did not receive an email, just let us know so we can check on that for you. Okay, so now we're going to use the Google Apps option here, which will which we which is which is designed so that you cannot type any other Google email address, not from your previous school, not your personal one. It must be your email address from Safa Lewis Community College. So if I click on Google Apps right here, it will open up, right, my Google authentication screen. Now, this requires that I type in my SALCC email address. So mine is SALCC student at apps.salcc.edu.lc. Now, as long as your email address exists, when you click next, it should ask you for your password. So let me just type in the password, okay? And I will click next. Okay then. Now, it takes a little time, but as long as I do that, it sends me directly to the dashboard. Now, a number of you have been emailing us and telling us you're not getting a confirmation email. There is no confirmation email. You have been added manually to the platform. So as soon as you do this, you are in, okay? You are in, just letting you know that, okay? So there is no need to look for a confirmation email. And you notice that, that as I logged in, I am in automatically, okay? So when, we, when, when, you, when you log in, there are a number of things that you see, okay? This, it takes you directly to your dashboard. If you have any courses, they will show up here. If there are any courses, they will show up here, okay? Um, and so by tomorrow, by Wednesday, sorry, by Wednesday morning, when you log in, you should be seeing your orientation course right here, okay? Which means that it is active, it is ready, and you should be using it at this point. Okay, so this is how you log in, guys. It's a very simple process, requires no confirmation email, nothing of the sort. Okay, so this is it for me on logging in. Any questions on logging in?